Welcome to Helen Meets History, where today we engage in a conversation with yet another legendary figure. I am William Shakespeare, a humble scribe navigating the tempest of existence. From the quill's inked embrace, I conjured characters that danced upon the grand stage of humanity. In Verona's moonlit gardens, I whispered of star-crossed lovers, and on the Scottish heath, I witnessed the tragic undoing of ambition, with sonnets serenading the ethereal beauty of love and tragedies, exploring the complexities of the human heart, I endeavoured to capture the very marrow of life. Join me as we traverse the realms of iambic pentameter, where every soliloquy is a glimpse into the kaleidoscope of the human spirit, and each play a portal to the intricacies of the soul's labyrinth. Ah, my dearest inquirer, the concept of a best work is as elusive as Puck's mischief in the moonlit woods. Each play I've birthed, be it the tragic fate of star-crossed lovers in Romeo and Juliet, or the royal scheming within the walls of Elsinore in Hamlet, carries a unique resonance. If pressed to choose, I'd say that my quill has danced most joyously with the words of Hamlet. In this tragedy, the human condition unravels, exposing the complexities of existence, the tangled webs of deceit, and the haunting echoes of mortality. Yet, as an artist, it is not for me to declare a magnum opus. Rather, I offer these works as a humble tribute to the theatre of life. So, my friend, as you peruse my pages, I encourage you to find the play that speaks to your soul, for therein lies the truest measure of its worth. Ah, to be or not to be, a soliloquy that unravels the very fabric of existence in the realm of Hamlet. Picture me, William Shakespeare, in the shadowy corridors of Elsinore Castle, where young Prince Hamlet grapples with the profound quandaries of life. In this soliloquy, Hamlet meditates on the inherent struggles of human existence. To be represents the endurance of life's challenges, the pain, the slings, and arrows of outrageous fortune. On the other side, not to be is the contemplation of ending one's own sorrows, venturing into the unknown realm beyond mortal coil. The soliloquy delves into the core of human experience, questioning the nature of suffering, the injustices of life, and the fear of the unknown that accompanies death. It is a reflection on the complexities of existence, a lyrical exploration of the human psyche laid bare on the stage. So, my friends, when you hear these immortal words, envision Hamlet, tormented and contemplative, navigating the existential seas of to be or not to be within the confines of a Danish castle, where tragedy unfolds like a Shakespearean tapestry. Well, picture me, William Shakespeare, in the tapestry of a day unspooling in the Elizabethan era. As the sun, like a golden coin, ascends the heavens, my day commences in the bustling thoroughfares of London. In the morn, the quill becomes my companion, dancing upon parchment, giving birth to verses that shall echo through the ages. A symphony of words, each a player in the grand theatre of life. As the clock ticks toward noon, the bustling streets of London beckon. The Globe Theatre, my second home, stirs to life. Rehearsals echo within its time-worn walls, and the anticipation of an afternoon performance hangs in the air. Come eventide, the stage transforms. Thespians become the embodiment of my musings, performing tales of love, tragedy, and mirth. The globe, my hallowed creation, witnesses the magic of Romeo and Juliet, the wit of Twelfth Night, or the contemplative cadence of Hamlet. With nightfall, the flickering glow of candles illuminates the taverns and alehouses. Amidst the camaraderie of fellow players, patrons, and perhaps a tankard of ale, ideas ferment, and tales are spun. Then, in the quiet of my chamber, by the glow of a single candle, the quill is once again my confidant. Words flow onto paper, crafting worlds and unravelling the intricacies of the human soul. And so, as the moon ascends the velvet sky, I, William Shakespeare, retire to the realm of dreams, where the ghosts of characters and the cadence of iambic pentameter weave a nightly sonnet until the morrow beckons again. In the echoes of time, let curiosity be your guide through uncharted knowledge. 
Amidst the bustling tapestry of modern life, remember empathy's role in unraveling humanity's true beauty. In your diverse voices, find richness in myriad perspectives. Though the digital quill replaces ink, let understanding script your collective narrative. Among towering structures, cherish the verdant verses framing your stories. As stewards of Earth, safeguard the stage for your unfolding dramas. In life's grand amphitheatre, each day is a new act. Let compassion, resilience, and unity ink the verses, as your generation adds to the timeless sonnet of humanity. With admiration for your ongoing play, stay enchanted with love and the romantic ballet of existence. Until our next episode, where Helen meets another great legend of history, keep the flame of curiosity alive. Goodbye for now, and remember, the adventure continues. See you in the next episode of Helen Meets History.